Hey there my dudes, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to this playthrough of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And as you can see, we are on this ledge area that we escaped to after running away from that horrible snake in the last episode. Hopefully you enjoyed that one and you had fun with my frantic flum flumbering? Flumbering, yeah, that's a word. My frantic flumbering around <laughs> uh, in my efforts to escape the snake, which I did on the second attempt, but shut up. Anyway, so we're going to proceed and see what's the other side of here. I'm st uh, I'm still getting used to this microphone, so you're going to have to let me know. I think I have cottoned on to something that I think that maybe... I mean, it's definitely sharper, it's definitely clearer. Um, the pitching issues and things that I had using the headset mic aren't really a concern now, but... I have noticed a little bit of kind of echoey, sort of metallic-y kind of sound in there. I think it's because of the room I'm in. I think that because this room is kind of echoey, I think that's having an effect on it. So I apologise. Hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you guys and not too off-putting. Um, there's not a lot I can do about it. I mean, I'll carry on tweaking and fiddling around with it to try and improve it, but... Hopefully it's it's good. I mean, I, I definitely think it's better than previously. But anyway, sorry, that's enough rambling away from me. I just wanted to sort of put that out there from the get-go. So the first thing we're going to do, because I know... Look. I spotted him before. It's one of those creepy little dudes. Look at him, he's got like a weird, like, sort of bamboo bowl hat. Like, blocks on his feet. Like, for his shoes. Strange little goblin man. Yeah, come on then. Where are you going? You're going to attack the rock, are you? Um. Where did he go? Did he fall down? Okay, it appears that... Oh my god, he fell down onto the branch. <laughs> and now he's dead. Bye! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love it when stuff like that happens, especially when you're recording it. And they're kind of things that you tell people and they're like, really? I would have seen that. Or like what happened with the, the spear dude, like, rotating around on the spot. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay, anyway. Herb catalogue scrap. A page torn from the Ashina herb catalogue. A compendium of flowers and herbs. The snap seed naturally grows in ravines and deep valleys. According to denizens of the Sunken Valley, such places are appropriate for offering oneself in marriage to the Great Serpent. If one wishes to become a bride, they must enter the belly of the serpent in the valley. Uh, what? Okay. So the giant snake, people want to marry it and go inside its belly. Yeah, because that's not weird. Hmm. What a weird bit of information. That's really strange. Hmm. Okay, well, let's read this because I never got round to reading these last time. Fume wart seeds that make a loud noise if you snap them. Useful for breaking the effect of illusion techniques. If an illusion occurs, it is because someone created it. To crush the phantoms and return to reality, one must defeat the creator of the illusion. Snap seeds can be of great help in that regard. Hmm. Oh my god. I have no idea why I did that. Right, let's get going before I do myself an injury. Okay, time to do some scouting. 
Alright, so we've got a dude there and a dead horse. A big building up here. Smoke. Not on the water, but in the distance. Bow, 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 bow. Okay. Um, oh, some more remnants, revenants over there. And what else? Okay, so there's a guy just there. There's two guys there with an eavesdrop situation. Oh, no. He spotted me. It's a gun dude as well. So we got a gun dude. Oh, and a, we got another dude walking back over there. Okay, that's a bit safer. So lots of bodies. So they've been doing lots of killing here. And look at the state of that fella there. I don't know if he's got a hangover. Or if he's just sad or, or somebody poked him in the eye or what. <laughs> he's got a big old sort of, it looks like a weird, it's like a baseball bat. Spiked baseball bat. And he's one of those giant dudes like we faced before. So, great. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of fun stuff to deal with here then. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do then... I'm going to go and deal with this guy. Aww. That's kind of sad. Guess we should just put him out of his misery and then he can be with his horse. It was a mercy killing. Now him and his horse are reunited. Interesting though what he was saying about the gunpowder scaring the horse. Hmm. Okay, another fistful of ash. Okay, there's a dude there. Not anymore! Okay, so we'll come up here again properly in a minute. I want to do the eavesdrop for those other two guys, because... I want to hear what they have to say. Oh. Gyobu the demon. We have heard his name spoken about before. Hmm. Fun, fun, fun! Right, so how best to approach this area? Okay, so let's go on here. Right, so the gun guy should calm down in a moment. Where is the big guy? Can hear him, can't see him. How is that possible? He's huge. It's so annoying that there's no way to do like a ledge kill.
Oh. There he is. Wow, I just learned something that I didn't know was possible. That was pretty awesome. Huh, so they've got to be in the right place and then you can get them. Right, where is this big crying baby man? He sounds like he's really close, but I can't see him anywhere. Alright, let's go back over here for a second. Oh, he's just there. He's like, is he stuck? Why do I keep breaking this game, guys? Why do I keep making it do weird stuff that it's not meant to do? I don't know. It's like his path thing's got broken. I don't think he's supposed to be down there like that. Huh. Alright, well, we'll just have to deal with it as best we can. So the next thing we want to do is deal with old Gunny McGunface over there. And this is going to be tricky because we've got the big guy just down there. Hmm. His face is like a big baby. It's got a very, like, young-looking face, hasn't he? Oh, a heavy coin purse. First one of those we got. And we've received them before. Okay, so that wasn't really what I was going for, but it, you know, I take it. I mean, I was originally going to just jump on the other guy, but then I thought I'd try and take him out. A purse filled with a large amount of sen, it can be used to acquire the sen inside. Its weight is very promising indeed. The sen in this purse is not lost upon death. So that's good. Right, so now I've got to deal with these guys. Ah. Oh well, that didn't go too badly really. Right, okay, that's everybody taken care of then. Thank you very much. And we got all the items, so that's good. Just double check that there's nothing up up top. If I can get up there. So it doesn't look like I can. Oh no, I can. No, nothing here. Right, okay. That's cool. Everything's done there then. Awesome. Remnant, not revenant. Right, remnant. Remember that. Okay, as you can see, quite clearly, look who it is. It's our old friend from the beginning with the giant bow. Mr. Ginichiro. Okay, let's hear what they have to say then. Oh, 
ひとたびは退けたのだナイフの軍はあまりに強大だそれゆえ我が地を流院の力を利用するというのですかいかに力を得るとでも痛みも恐れも忘れ戦い続けるな私は人の生き方を歪めたくはないのですこの屍の山を見ろもはや尋常の術では足のは守れぬのだ<笑>私は健一郎とどほど強くはなれません何をなすべきか未だわからぬのですあれから随分と経つ待ったとて無駄なことだふん、so what I want to know now then is when he said about the blood and about if you basically if you have too much fit you'll become a monster does he mean that is that in a, a figurative way or literal as in it's going to transform him into something else if he carries on consuming the blood of the divine air hmm it's all very intriguing stuff and hopefully questions that will be answered the further into this game we go right okay i hear crows does that mean that there's a merchant around nope it's crows because there is death everywhere Oh man, look at this place. Big battle went down here. All these dead horses, people all over the place burnt up and just generally murderized. Yeah. Things did not go well for these people, did they? Not well at all. Hmm. Okay, so that's going to be our next destiny. Oh, I can see one of those little men. And the little um goblin assassin people. Oh, and there. There's, I just saw movement there. There's another one there. Huh. Looks like they're, I don't know what they're doing, digging or something. I love this monocular so much. <laughs> so you've got other stuff out there. There's a bridge over there. What's that? Are they banners or something? They're not trees, I don't think. They look odd. Hmm. They're moving around, but... Yeah, because they look different to the other trees. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a bridge, something, whatever that is. Some mountains, but we're probably not going there. That looks like something. Can't see a lot through the smoke, but there's more buildings over there. High walls and things. Yeah, lots of built. Wow. Okay. That's a lot up there. And then we've got this bit over here as well. Hmm. Right, I said I'd go back up here, didn't I, first? So I'll come back here in a minute. And I went everywhere else. Yep, item. Okay, medicinal pellets. Does not open from this side. So there's an item in there. Okay, so clearly a bit that we can get to from over here.
Oh no, I didn't. Oh, you idiot. Right. I know what's coming. So I'm. I need. I need my gourds. Because that is the battleground where Gyobu the demon resides. And I am not willing to face him with under three gourds worth of health. So all these guys are back, but that's fine because we don't need to fight them. We'll take out this guy. And we'll deal with this dude as well. Everyone else, they can just be about their business. Okay. Oh, right. Let's see what happens in this scenario then, shall we? Man, this fight is mental. Ow! And I heal twice. What a waste. Ah! Get away, get away. Ow. Right, I don't think we're going to do this, guys. Yeah, I'm... Oh. oh my god! That move! Yeah, I'm dead. Right, okay, well, I know what went wrong there. I panicked. I pressed the wrong buttons. I used things when I shouldn't have used them. I switched my firecrackers to my shuriken. I, it was just a mess. I'm surprised that I didn't die quicker than I did, so... That in itself is kind of amazing. Right, but yeah, so... It's an interesting fight, isn't it? <laughs> Horseback battle. It's something, actually, I hope that 
they've built upon this mechanic for Elden Ring, which is the new game that they're working on, because it's been said that in that, the game is so big that you have to ride around on a horse um, to get to different places. So I'm hoping there's going to be some horseback combat in that game, which will sort of maybe build upon some of the stuff that they've created for this fight. We shall see. Right, let's try this again then. Ah, he got away from me. Damn it, I missed him. Alright, much better that time. Oh, back kick from the horse. No, 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 come on. Oh, thank you, God. Shinobi execution. Love how the horse just pieces out as well. Oh, epic fight. Memory, Gyubu Aniwa. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe, lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. Gyubu Masataka Aniwa was keeper of the Ashina Castle Gate. Mechanical Barrel A mechanical metal barrel that can be given to the sculptor to enable prosthetic tool upgrades. It appears to have been made to fit perfectly inside the wrist bone of the shinobi prosthetic. A reinforced core is sure to make a shinobi's fangs even sharper. Awesome! Prosthetic tool upgrades By giving the mechanical barrel to the sculptor, upgraded prosthetic tools can be created. You can quickly return to the Sculptor via the Travel option at a Sculptor's Idol, or by using the Homeward Idol Quick Item. Wow. Did you enjoy that one, guys? Pretty cool. Look as well at my life. I was going to heal, and then I was like, no, I'll try to hit him, and I noticed that his posture bar was quite high. 
that worked out quite fortuitous for me. And I still had probably one other go left of my firecrackers if I needed them. And I still had three lots of pellets. Used all my gourds, mind, but... Awesome. Oh, what a fight. Interesting as well, isn't it, that you get that thing, the Shinobi Execution. And didn't you think it was funny, the fact that I was, like, stabbing the guy through the head and the horse was just stood there watching, like, what's going on here? What are you doing? And then he just vanished away when Gyobu went as well. Alright, let's check around this area just to make sure there's no items. Wow, epic fight though. I, I really like that. I mean, I, yeah, it's a difficult fight. You've really got to be on point and have your wits about you for that fight. But it's enjoyable as well because it's different. Okay, so there doesn't appear to be any items to collect. Ah, they're too big. Can't destroy them. Oh, there is a sculptor's idol, though. Enhancing attack power. The Enhance Attack Power option has been unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol menu. You can now consume battle memories to increase your attack power, causing you to deal more vitality and posture damage with your attacks. Alright, that's the first thing we want to do. So it's the Ashina Castle Gate. So this is the end of the outskirts then. And the beginning of somewhere new beyond this door. Ooh. Right. What I want to do quickly before we use the thing is look at the thing. Um. Oh, it says basically the same. Okay. I didn't know if it said something different. Right. Let's do that then. Enhance attack power. Confront memory. Gyubu. Enhance attack power by confronting the me- Ah! The battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Although distant, recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf. Gyobu Aniwa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin who was so captivated by his show of strength that he took him in as an Ashina warrior. Oniwa would later go on to become Genichiro Ashina's most trusted retainer. Attack power has been enhanced. I'm very glad that confront the memory did not mean now you have to fight him again. <laughs> that would not have been fun. Right, so now we're going to go up here. Oh, dead person. Person in purple. Hmm. Oh, item. Aha! Hello, Mr. Crowman. Right then. Battlefield Memorial Mob. 
Oh, and he has a Dragon's Blood Droplet. Antidote Powder, which we're not in any need of at the moment. Because uh, we have four. Fistful of Ash, we've got tons. Okay, so we can buy more coins. Robert's Firecrackers, we already own. Wait, what? Limit. Oh, because they're... Oh, that's interesting. So is he the same one and just moves around then? Or do they share? Oh, and a Gourd Seed for a thousand. So two useful things. So I'm going to buy that. And I need a thousand. So what have I got? What have I got? I've got 600, and then I think those are 500. So, 5, what have I got? 3. So, that'll be 8. Okay, so if I use that... Perfect. Yes, please. I would like this gourd seed. Yes, indeed. Rest in peace. It's interesting how some of the people are blurry. You can't zoom in on them properly. Oh, sorry, mate. The other one I wrecked his bowls. This one I just put his torch out. Hmm. Oh, well, he's just like a funny old man. Okay, so we have a dragon thing. <laughs> Dragon's Blood Droplet, in case we need it. And we've got another Gourd Seed, so we can go back to see Emma. And we can upgrade so that we have four chugs of our... Not Esther's Flask. <laughs> and that, along with... Going to see who this is... are going to be things that we do on the next episode. So in the next episode, we will go and see clearly who this guy is not an enemy because I just put my sword away. So we're going to go and see who this dude is here and see what else is in this house. And then once we're done there, we will go back to the idol. We will go back and see Emma and we will upgrade our gourd and see if there's anything new going on at the dilapidated temple. And then we'll come back here and we'll open that gate and we'll carry on into Ashina Castle. Or the outskirts of Ashina Castle, I assume. Because that looks like that's the castle bit. Or this up here. So we're going to have to go through probably some like courtyard areas and stuff to get into the castle proper. But yeah. That's what we're going to do next time. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode again, everybody. I told you things were going to carry on being exciting, didn't I? <laughs> so hopefully you've had fun. And if so, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a like. Let me know that you did indeed like and enjoy this. And also leave me your comments. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the series so far. What happened in this episode. And how you're finding things in general. And as you know, I always respond to the comments. And if you don't know, because you're new here, then please consider subscribing. That would be fantastic. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and help grow this kingdom of geeks. Please do so. I would be hugely appreciative of that. And also, check out my description box for the link to my Twitter, so you can follow me on there. And also, my donation medium, should you feel generous enough to help me in any way towards further building this geekdom... In the same way that my patron, Plaster Koala, got me this microphone. If there's anything you can do to help me, 
then check it out and see. There are two different mediums you can use, Patreon or Ko-fi. Completely up to you. But you're not under any obligation to help me in any way. It's just there in case you feel like it. There's also an affiliate link down there. So if you're in the market for any digital games for PC, Switch or VR, check out the link to Green Man Gaming. It says ukulele, but you don't have to buy that game. You can go off and buy anything else. And they have lots of great deals. And anything you buy, if you go through my link, I will get a small percentage of. Won't cost you any extra money. It comes from the company. But that's a way that you can help me without helping me, I suppose. You're, you're getting something for yourself and helping me in return. And that's it. So I will catch you guys next time. So you take care now. Bye-bye.